yes, they have finally, finally arrived from Custom Offsets from Anthem Off-Road. I realize it's not a very efficient way to actually get this saran wrap off. Just keep stretching, come on. It should get progressively easier from tire to tire. These are some healthy, healthy tires, of course, for the Ram TRX. It's not the same truck now. Like the whole personality has been completely transformed. It looks so good. Are you actually kidding me? What? I've had the Ram TRX for two years now. Biggest single regret was not getting these Anthem wheels on sooner. The truck looks so incredible. I'm trying to figure out what do we do next? We need bumpers for sure. We definitely need light bars. TRX though, coming in clutch. Well, somehow I chose the absolute hottest day of the year. Don't work on the cars today. It is 106 degrees here in Salt Lake City, Utah from Fab Speed, baby. Let's roll. I'm honestly like a little bit embarrassed it took me this long to do this modification. I bought this car in March of 2020 and we should have done this day one from Fab Speed Motorsport. I don't know what that is, don't want to break it. For the 2003 Lamborghini. I thought this was gonna come out easier. The dramatic introduction. Oh yes, the dramatic introduction didn't really work. Come on, easy does it. Yes sir, yes sir, let's go. Check this thing out. Gotta get the foam out. Come on. Oh my goodness. Lamborghini Murcielago. We have the full X pipe exhaust system from Fab Speed Motorsport. I should have done this day one. The Mercy is gonna absolutely sing. I would argue the Lamborghini Murcielago might be the best sounding V12 in the world. I have absolutely no good excuse for this. For whatever reason, my Murcielago has had a stock setup this entire time. Just like, look at the girth on these exhaust tips. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be properly good. We definitely do not want to forget any hard work. It's always hard unboxing with just one hand, because obviously I'm holding the camera. Alright, there we go, baby. And make it rain. Boom. It's just too easy. Nope. It's so easy. Nope. How easy? That easy. Nope. If you have never heard of Fab Speed X Pipe on a Lamborghini Murcielago, I suggest you stick around because it's a very special experience. Of course, step one though, we gotta hear the before. It sounds good, but we want excellence. I'm gonna zip my lips so you can hear this Mercy logo. I know I said I was never gonna talk about my grass ever again on the channel, but I mean, come on. It looks so good. Oh, I never knew I was a grass guy. The Anthem wheels are such a game changer. It definitely sounds good. Stock setup is good. It ain't no bad speed though. Now my Mercy Lago is the first gen, which means it has a 6.2 liter V12. That deck lid is so hot. Now unfortunately, because I got the engine and the exhaust so incredibly hot, we now have to wait a couple hours for it to cool off. If I was to remove the stock exhaust and touch my bare hands, I would burn myself so bad. This V12, it generates so much heat. So you just kind of sort of have to wait around for a while, but on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Custom Offsets. I know you guys know Fitman Industries. Well, Custom Offsets is their sister company that specializes in everything truck. Now, maybe you have a daily driver truck like me, or maybe you wanna to go to SEMA 2023 and you wanna build the coolest, baddest truck ever. Well, Custom Offsets caters to the both of us. Custom Offsets is the ultimate one-stop shop for everything truck. They have everything, wheels, tires, suspension, performance, accessories, and their online gallery has over 100,000 different trucks. So you can go on there, you can visualize exactly what you want, and then you can get it on custom offsets. And I absolutely love the Anthem off-road wheels. They're super simple, super sleek, and they look amazing on a stock truck, and they look just as good on a lifted truck. And any Anthem wheel order includes a free Patriot pack, as well as 15% off to our veterans and our active duty service members. Guys, check out the link below. Go check out custom offsets. It is the ultimate one-stop shop run by truck enthusiasts for truck enthusiasts. If you have a truck, you're gonna find anything and everything you need. Check out the link below to custom offsets. Now, this is probably not the biggest surprise ever. I don't know actually how how to remove the factory exhaust. This panel right here, I would assume, we gotta remove this somehow. How you do that, I got no idea. I've also learned it's very good to take a bunch of photos of the before because when it's all said and done, all of this should look exactly 
like that. One of the cool things about learning to work on this car, I'm never gonna sell it, and so everything I learned today is knowledge for life. That was profound. I'm pretty sure, yes. And yes, also, I do not have any power tools. Make fun of me in the comments below, but what can I say? I'm a DIY kind of guy. No, no, no! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I got lazy, boys. Cut that out of the video. I don't wanna see one single person making fun of me from my phone. It works. It's easy. Ow. 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 Oh. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Well, I may or may not have just drew a little bit of blood, so uh, I apologize for that. I'm not gonna show you guys on camera because I don't wanna get demonetized. It's crazy looking inside the innards of the Mercy Log. It's a 2003, so it is 20 years old, but man, cars have changed so much. This car looks like it was built during the Stone Age. I gotta correct an earlier statement. I thought the Mercy Lago was stock. This is definitely not a stock exhaust, so my apologies. And it kind of makes sense because the car sounds really, really, really good. It doesn't sound amazing, it sounds really, really good. And from factory, I would have been shocked. So yes, aftermarket exhaust, we gotta figure out how to remove this thing and how you do that, I have not a clue. These bolts are so rusty, I'm a little concerned. This could go from bad to really bad really quickly. Oh. Let's go! Oh, it's heavy. That's heavy. One of the craziest parts about the Mercy Lago, it is empty back here. Like, once you get the exhaust out, there's nothing back here. It's crazy how far forward the engine is. All right, next steps. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know about Utah. You got blue sky out there, and then it's pouring rain. It feels so good right now. Hallelujah, grace like rain. It is so hot here in Utah right now. Okay. I am ruining my camera lens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that felt so good though. You guys have no idea how bad I needed that. That felt absolutely amazing. I am slowly dying of heat exhaustion right now. It is so hot. That felt so good. So, a little bit of a test fit right here. It's crazy. This fab speed setup. I mean, all this tubing, well, not that. That tubing and that tubing equates to that right there. Well, we're now running into a new issue. You see, the problem is I am human. I got two hands and two arms and the intelligence of a four-year-old, but I need four arms and four hands. See, the problem is we got the exhaust tips right here and somehow I got them mounted up to this. I don't know, I don't know exactly how to do this because these exhaust tips, they're not heavy, but they're heavy enough, if that makes sense, and I got I got two hands. Um, I also just got confirmation that my buddy's new V12 Lamborghini is gonna be here in about two hours, so we're not in a hurry, but it'd be nice to have this done before the truck arrives. So the truck is arriving in two hours. Well, good news and bad news. The bad news, the Mercy Log is not done, but the good news, the truck is gonna be here, well, the truck's gonna be at Walmart in five minutes. And right on time, every time, Two hours ago, I had no idea I was accepting delivery of this car. My buddy Damon, he's in Florida. He called, he asked if I could accept delivery of the car. And uh, when you see it, you might argue it's the greatest V12 Lamborghini ever built. It's the final one. I rarely film at nighttime, and so it's a little bit hard to see, so I do apologize for that. The car is right there, yet I don't know if you guys can really see it. We have like a classic Mustang right there. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna ask the truck driver if we can climb up. I think this car has a stock exhaust, but I know Damon's gonna change that very soon. A little bit sketchy. Don't be like me. Oh, yes. The Aventador Ultimate. That's right. Like I said, the greatest iteration of the final Lamborghini V12. Obviously, the Revolto is a V12, but you know what I'm saying. Like, the final edition of the Aventador. This is so nerve-wracking to watch because it's not my car. This thing's worth like a million dollars, give or take. I don't know what Ultimate's going for, but she is so, so, so wide. The Ultimate, I don't know how much wider it is than like a standard Aventador, but it's the same width as an SVJ, which is a very, very thick girl. It's also very, very hot in here, and uh, can't really see. Good over here. The hard part about the Aventador is shaped like a wedge. The back is actually significantly wider than the front, and so when you're trying to reverse, it kind of throws off your frame of reference. If you've driven an Aventador or Mercy Lago, you know exactly what I'm saying. And getting it out of this truck is not an easy task because the car is like this much thinner than the truck. So, yeah, yeah. The problem now is that I'm standing right here, and that is death. Um, and the Aventador is so wide, I gotta get around somehow. So close to the edge of the trailer right here, but then she gets thicker, so. Uh, Vincer, another Vincer, maybe. No. If, whoa, whoa, whoa. if you get scared of heights, it's kind of sort of scary. I'm on the edge of death right now with a million dollar Lamborghini <laughs> Aventador. No. I'm good, okay, yeah, we're going down. The sooner you go down, the better. I usually don't get scared of heights, but the problem is this car is like, is a projectile? And if it rolls off, it, it takes me off as well. We're going down. Never wanted to get off a ramp so bad in my entire life. Oh, yes, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. The Aventador Ultimate has arrived here. 
to the beautiful state of Utah. The speck on this thing is absolutely sinister. I don't know if you guys can tell how close it is on this side right here. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And here we go, we got the keys to the Aventador Ultimate. Now, unfortunately, it is very late and it is pouring rain and this car has 745 miles on it. So we're going directly home as I hit my head. Lower the car risk of dazzle. What does that mean? Lower the car risk of dazzle? I have never seen that warning light in my entire life. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna lower the car immediately. Risk of dazzle, what does that mean? I wish it wasn't pouring rain right now because Damon said we could take the car for a drive, but it's irresponsible. It's a brand new car. These are worth like a million dollars, 700 miles on the car. If I take delivery of his brand new Aventador Ultimate in the rain and I slide off and I end up in the weeds, I don't want to make that phone call, so today's video is over. You know what? Video's not over yet. <laughs> I've driven a couple SVJs, but I've never driven an Ultimate. This thing absolutely takes off like a missile. <laughs> what? <laughs> I tell you guys, the single clutch transmission is so much fun. I kind of wish Lamborghini was keeping it, to be honest, because this car makes you laugh like no other car. There's nothing like an Aventador. I don't know if the Aventador was appreciated during the 10 years we had it, because this car, it is going to go down in history as one of the greatest cars of all time. Oh, set across the mode. <laughs> this is the most rare version of the event or other than the anniversary car. There's only 350 coupes, 350 roasters. This might be the car to have. This might be the car to have. I don't need a third Aventador, but if I had a third Aventador, I might need an Ultimate. I just want to give a huge congratulations to the boy Damon for taking delivery of the Ultimate. Damon's got a Diablo 6.0 and an LP640, a Revolta on order. Go give him a follow on Instagram. The spec on this thing is crazy. The matte military gray, it looks like a fighter jet. This is paint, it's not a wrap, it's not PPF. This is actual factory Lamborghini paint. There's only 350 Ultimates in the world. The final iteration of the famed Lamborghini Aventador. I love the bronze wheels as well. This thing is is killer. I definitely, definitely, definitely do not need a third Aventador. That being said, it's very fun to drive an Aventador. It's not maybe like fragile because my pink car is a wide body. It's a little fragile. The carbon car is going to be a little bit fragile. Whereas this one is the ultimate version of the ultimate car. I love the interior on this thing too. I don't know if you can see like the cool stitch pattern right there. I don't know how you describe that, but however you describe that is cool. <laughs> That's not bad whatsoever. Damon has very big plans for this coming very, very, very soon. I just got off the phone with Damon. The proper pronunciation of the paint is a queso. Grigio a queso. I love the lighted up Aventador door sill there. And check this out. In the Ultimate, you get a cup holder. It truly is the ultimate Aventador. You guys are going to hate me. A uh, quick update on the Mercia Lago. It's not going to be done in today's video. This is what happens when I work on cars myself. It takes way, 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 way longer than it should. There's also a couple parts, a couple tools I got to go get before I can actually finish it. Cold startup, uh, revving, launch, no launch control because I don't want to blow up the clutch. Coming very, very soon in the next video, I promise you guys. But today's video is over.